Hello Horizon Hawks, this is Mr. Olson and today I'm going to tell you about how to access your Office 365 account and specifically how to access Outlook email and how you can email your teacher and myself as well. So today I'm using a KSD computer. I want to show you how to access your email and how to email your teacher. You can do this on your school device, or you can do it from a device at home. Any device with the internet will work. So to access it, you will uh, first go into an internet browser. I like to use Google Chrome. So if you're on a school device, we have four internet browsers, Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Internet Explorer, and Firefox. All of those will work. Uh, Google Chrome, I think, works the best. If you're on a different device, you might have another type of internet browser like Safari. So click on Google Chrome and it will load. Now, sometimes it will, sometimes on school computers, it will pop up with the school website. But if it does not, that's okay. If you're on a school device, you can just press the house or the home button and it will take us to our Horizon homepage. Or if you're on a home device, you can type in the Kent School District website, kent.k12.wa.us. Enter. And it'll take you to the Kent School District homepage. Now you can access Office. Office 365 from the Kent School District homepage or the Horizon page. It's in the same spot. The Office 365 link is right here on the top right side of the page, right under District Home. It says Office 365. If you're on the Horizon Elementary page, it's in the same spot. Both of those will work. Click on that. If you're logged in on your school device, it will log you in automatically. You won't have to do anything. However, if you are on a device at home that is not a school device, it will make you enter in your student email. So when it comes to this page, you're gonna click on use another account and you're going to enter in your email. Once you enter your email, then it will ask for your password. And your password is the same password you use to log in to your computer. If you don't remember your password or need help with your password, you can email me, Mr. Olson, at elijah.olson at kent.k12.wa.us. So enter your password and then click sign in. Once you have entered your password, it will pull up with all of your Office 365 apps. Now there might be some pop-up things that you need to get out of before this pulls up. This is what it should look like eventually once it loads. Now there are a lot of different tools here that you can use. You might be familiar with OneNote, Word, even Excel and PowerPoint. But today we're going to talk about how to use Outlook and that's how you use your email. So click on Outlook and it will pull up your student email. Now here is what I want you to do today is if you're watching this video and are able to get on and get logged into Office 365, I want you to send me an email you can click new message and this box will pop up with a new message. For your test, I want you to email me. So if you type, start typing in my last name, O-L-S-O-N, there's a lot of different Olsons, but it's about five, six down here. Elijah, and there's my picture even. And then add a subject like, Hello, Mr. Olson, and then write a note to me. Once you've written a note, you can click send and send it off to me. 
that way I know you've been able to access your email and send an email. You could also practice by sending one to your teacher. So, for example, if my teacher was Mrs. Hochi, I could start typing in Hochi. Let's see. And there we go. Here is Mrs. Hochi. And then I can write, give it a subject is, maybe I say, I miss you. And then you can type in your note and click send again. So you can use this to email your teacher. And I'm sure your teacher will email you back if you get a note, if you send a note to them. So I encourage you to send an email to me today when you see this video and then be looking for more videos. I'm going to be showing you different tools that we have on Office 365 as well as from our library. There's a lot of great resources in libraries. So I'll show you how to use your uh, Teams and OneDrive and Sway even maybe later. So keep an eye out for more videos soon. Okay, we'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.